What is up guys, Xavier Elon here. Today we are going to be going over implement queues using stacks on leak code. It's an easy problem. Please subscribe right here if you haven't already. Check out my channel. I do tutorials almost every single day and hit smash that like button. Let's Okay, so let's jump right into it. Um, this problem basically just wants us to create a queue using two stacks. So um, they want us to write the push, pop, peak, empty, um, functions for well we need to implement those functions in stacks but the user it's abstracted away into a queue so the user is just going to be using um queue push um well i guess they're using push peak pop empty usually it's called nq and dq for um queues so i have it on my whiteboard here um let me make this bigger and so man so I have the queue down here. Um, queue is first in, first out. So basically it goes through the back and it's stored in the front. So we're gonna store, if they end queue one, it's going to go through the back into the front. It's first in, first out. So um, one's the first thing in. If they end queue another one, they end queue two. It goes into the, all the way up right after the first element. And then if they do queue it, it's, the first out so first in was one it's so it's gonna be the first out so they're gonna DQ one basically um, so we need to do this using two stacks which are data structures uh, Q is an abstract data structure it's abstracted away usually with linked lists or stacks in this case so in this case we need to do stacks um, so the way we're gonna do this is we have to use two stacks one's gonna be for push one's gonna be for pop the reason we need to do this will make perfect sense in a second. Um, stacks are last in, first out. So as you know, stacks are like a stack of plates. You stack them on top of each other. So you push one on, and then you push two on top of that. And say you push three, four, five. Um, you can only, it's last in, first out. So the last one in is the first one out. So you can only pop the top off, which is five. Um, so say, but the user is using a queue. So they, when they say they want to deck something, they want to um, remove one. So obviously we can't do that with just one stack because it's on the bottom. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to pop them all off and store them in stack two. So we're going to pop five and then four and three, two, one. So now these are all gone. And as you can see, they're in the correct order for a queue now. Um, one's at the top. So we can just, when they say deck, we can just remove one and it's gone. And then they can dequeue the next one, which is two. Um, I'll try and keep it up to date here as well. So it would be like three, four, five. We already de decked uh, two. So now let's say they push, um, another one so we can't put it onto the pop stack it would create it out of order the pop stacks already in order for the queue so we're going to push six and say they want to push seven um, and so then now the pop stack still in order the push stack is not the only time we're going to basically switch stacks pop the ones from the push stack into the pop stack is when if they DQ deck all of these, I don't know the word, DQ deck, I'm not sure. Anyways, so if it's empty. So now we just have uh, six, six at the front and seven. Um, if they wanted to DQ six, we just need to do the same thing again, pop them over, so seven, six. So now they're in the right order again. So that's all we have to do. So let's code this out. Um, I'm trying to make sure the video's not in the way. I already actually have all the code written. So let me clear it. I just recorded this video and the fr my freaking video of myself was in the way of the whiteboard the whole time. So I had to redo it. I hope it wasn't again. I wasn't paying attention. So let's create our stacks um, of integers. So I originally I called it push and pop. But then when you call the functions, it's push.push, which is just weird. Or if you do pop.push, it's just confusing. 
So let's call it input. You could call it stack one, stack two. So new stack. And same thing, we're gonna have a output stack, which is the pop stack. Ah, oh my God. Okay, so the um, myQ function is, I, th I, I don't know, know what they want us to do there. It works fine without putting anything in it. Um, okay, so the first thing is let's just do the easiest function, which is Boolean empty. So if the queue is empty, that means both stacks are empty. So um, return input dot is empty. And I'm gonna zoom in a little more. Okay, there we go. And output dot is empty. And so push is very simple. We can we only push on to the first stack, the push stack, so which is input. So input dot push x. So that's all we need to do for the uh, input stack. Um, the other thing is I created a function public void. So this is where we move the pop all the ones from the push stack into the pop stack. So I called it shift stacks because we're moving all the elements over. So while stack one and not stack one input dot while it's not empty, we're going to create a temporary variable and it's going to be equal to um, input dot pop so we're storing the the variable into our temporary variable and then we're just going to push it onto um, the output so that's basically um, it's storing say we have one here it's pushing it or popping it, storing it in temp. So temp equals one. And then it's saying push this into the pop stack. So one, um, these aren't supposed to be here. So that's all it's doing. So it's basically moving all of those elements until input is empty, which is exactly what we want. So let's write the last two functions. If, um, if uh, the output is empty so if that's empty that means we have some in the push stack so we want to shift the stacks we can't pop from the push stack um, if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense I feel like I explained it pretty well and then we're just going to return output dot um, pop and it's the exact same thing for peak except we just call the peak function so that's like the simplest way to code this um, I hope that made sense we're just let me do the whiteboard basically if stack 2 is empty and they call pop we can't pop anything um, we need to pop everything over from the push stack into the pop stack so three two one over here it's um one two three so these are in the this is in the right order now and they can pop that's how that works so let's run it uh oh simple syntax error faka hold on output dot pop and I forgot the okay so it works and this typically runs really fast oh man 7.64 I got a hundred the last time so I don't know what is let's try running it I got a hundred the past yeah there you go that's so weird anyways so it's um the running times 01 amortized which is basically the average of all the functions is O of one the only one that's not is uh shift stacks so like pop or peak um and that's only in the case that we have to shift the stacks because we have to move them over one by one 
Amitars is saying it's the average, which is the average of all the functions is basically O of one. Some of it is O of n. And the space complexity is uh, O of n because we create these stacks. We did really good on memory usage though. So that's it for this video. I hope I explained it well and it makes sense. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.